In the heart of a small, picturesque town called Harmonyville, there lived a man named Samuel. For years, Samuel had been a respected member of the community, a well-regarded architect who designed many of the town's beautiful homes and buildings. He was a loving husband, a doting father to two children, and a friend to many. But, like the twisting tracks of a runaway train, life has a way of taking unexpected turns, and for Samuel, those turns led him far off the track he thought he was on. It was a chilly autumn evening when the first signs of Samuel's descent from the track of life became apparent. He had just returned from a long day at work, feeling the weight of stress and deadlines weighing heavily on his shoulders. His wife, Emily, greeted him with a warm smile, but he could sense a hint of concern in her eyes. She had been noticing the changes in him, the way he had grown distant and detached from the things he once held dear. As they sat down to dinner that evening, Samuel's mind was consumed by thoughts of work. He was no longer the man who would eagerly share stories about his day with his family. Instead, he would sit at the table, lost in his thoughts, the clinking of cutlery and the soft chatter of his family a distant hum in the background. Over the weeks that followed, Samuel's obsession with work grew. He began staying late at the office, taking on more and more projects, and pushing himself to the brink of exhaustion. The once idyllic town of Harmonyville, with its serene parks and friendly neighbors, became nothing more than a backdrop to his daily grind. The weekends, once reserved for family outings and quality time with his children, were now spent hunched over blueprints and CAD drawings. Emily tried to talk to him, to make him see that he was losing touch with the things that truly mattered in life. But Samuel, always a man of few words, responded with silence or curt dismissals. The emotional distance between him grew, and their marriage began to suffer. One Saturday morning, as Samuel sat in his dimly lit office, his son, Michael, who was just seven years old, approached him with wide eyes full of curiosity. Daddy, can we go to the park today? He asked, tugging at Samuel's shirt sleeve. Samuel barely glanced at his son and replied, Not now, buddy. Daddy has a lot of work to do. He returned to his designs without another word. Michael's eyes welled up with tears as he left his father's office, crushed by the rejection. Samuel was so preoccupied with his work that he didn't even notice the pain he was causing his family. As the days turned into weeks and then months, Samuel's work consumed him entirely. His friendships withered, and he no longer attended the weekly gatherings at the local pub with his friends. His daughter, Lily, felt abandoned by her father, and his relationship with Emily was strained beyond repair. Their once vibrant home had become a cold and lifeless place. One evening, as Samuel sat in his office, bathed in the cold blue glow of his computer screen, a message appeared in his inbox. It was from a colleague who had been reviewing his recent work. The message was harsh and critical, pointing out numerous errors in his designs and questioning his commitment to the projects. It was a punch to the gut, a stark reminder of how far he had fallen from the standards he had once upheld. That night, unable to sleep, Samuel's mind raced with self-doubt and regret. He had sacrificed everything for his career, and it seemed that it still wasn't enough. He had become a stranger to his own family, and his work, the one thing he had placed above all else, was now slipping through his grasp. The next morning, Samuel awoke with a sense of determination. He needed to make amends, to reconnect with the people he had pushed away. He decided to take the day off work, something he hadn't done in months, and spend it with his family. He surprised Michael and Lily by taking them to the park, where they played on the swings and laughed together. He listened to their stories and savored the moments of genuine happiness that had been missing for so long. In the following weeks, Samuel began to gradually rebuild his relationships. He made an effort to spend quality time with Emily, rediscovering the love they had shared for so many years. He rekindled his friendships with his old pals, inviting them over for barbecues and poker nights. And at work, he took the criticism from his colleague to heart, working diligently to improve his designs and regain his reputation. But the road back to the track of life was not an easy one. Samuel had to confront the consequences of his actions and work hard to mend the rifts he had created. 
some wounds healed slowly, and others may never fully mend. As the months passed, Samuel realized that he had a choice to make. He couldn't continue down the same path of all-consuming work that had nearly destroyed his life. He had to find a balance between his career and his family, between his ambitions and his relationships. He had to learn that life was more than just work. It was about the people you loved and the moments you shared with them. In time, Samuel's family forgave him, and the town of Harmonyville welcomed him back into the fold. He learned that it was never too late to change, to find his way back to the track of life he had strayed from. It was a long and challenging journey, but it was a journey worth taking. And Sir, Samuel, the man who had fallen off track in life, found his way back. He realized that the most important things in life were not the accolades or the achievements, but the love of his family and the bonds of friendship. As he watched the sun set over the picturesque town of Harmonyville, he knew that he had come home to the life he had almost lost, and he was determined to cherish it every day. The story of Samuel serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of balance in life. It teaches us that while pursuing one's career and ambitions is admirable, it should never come at the cost of neglecting the relationships and connections that truly matter. Samuel's journey illustrates that success in the professional realm can be hollow and unfulfilling if it leaves us isolated and disconnected from our loved ones. The moral of his story is clear. No matter how far we may stray from the track of life, it is never too late to recalibrate our priorities, make amends, and rekindle the bonds that make life truly meaningful. Additionally, the story underscores the significance of self-reflection and the ability to change. Samuel's realization that he needed to make amends and restore balance in his life is a testament to human resilience and the capacity for growth. It demonstrates that we all have the power to reassess our choices, make positive changes, and find our way back to a more fulfilling and harmonious life. It's a message of hope and redemption, emphasizing that even when we stumble or lose our way, we have the agency to set things right and rediscover the path that leads to a more rewarding existence. Samuel's journey also imparts an essential piece of advice. Remember that life is a delicate balance between our personal ambitions and the relationships we cherish. In the pursuit of our dreams, it's vital to allocate time for the people who bring love and meaning to our lives. Don't wait until you've fallen off the track like Samuel did to reevaluate your priorities. Take proactive steps to maintain equilibrium, nurture your connections, and create a life that fulfills not only your professional aspirations but also your emotional well-being. Remember, the most rewarding successes are those that you can share with the people you love.